again. And here we are starting Dragon Age Origins. Time. Let's see, where are we? We'll find out. It's been a week since I've been here. Uh, I missed Sunday because I was at NorwestCon and worked out here. from where we were before. Ah, uh, yes, and remember how last Tuesday I told you that it was going to be a short season, short, short session, because of the meeting I had at 7. Uh, it turns out that wasn't last week, that's this week. So this week is going to be a short session. Uh, I'm going to be ending this at 7 and going to my Niwa meeting. Um, it's our writer's group that I'm in locally here. Um, but for now, let's go ahead. We are at Ostagar, preparing for the Darkspawn attack. Oh, no, preparing to go out into the wilderness to go join the Great Warden. We have not done that yet. Um, so we're examining or wondering about the camp. I found Alistair, I should return, and I found the other people, and we're going to go talk to Duncan, who's going to tell us about the Great Wardens, uh, more hounds. so yeah, I met a, I met a dog, um, but he's sick, so I promised him to find a particular flower if I find it. Oh, I'm going to turn this on so you can see me. Hello, is that better? Okay. There we go. Um, let's go talk to these people. Huh. Someone finally comes and talks to the lone prisoner. I don't suppose you've come to sentence me. Prisoner? Uh, nope. I don't suppose you have a bit of kindness in you. I've not come to censor you. I mean, All I want is food you. and water. They haven't fed me since I was locked up and I'm starving. Oh, I probably have some of that. That's horrible. Why haven't they fed you? I expect nobody thought of it with all the battles and such. <laughs> yeah. well, you're, tell me why you're in there first. Uh, do I want to do that, or do I just want to help them? So, I uh, think prisoner, right? You take a prisoner, you're responsible for that person. Um, of course, these people are not ter terribly careful with the prisoners. Um, but morally, you're responsible for the prisoner. If something happens with the prisoner, it's the fault of the jailer. Um, so if he's starving, hey, that's not good. That's torture. These people probably practice torture, though, so it's not this important thing like it is to most of us. Um, maybe. But I think uh, Janella here would find it pretty important, so I think I'm going to see what I can do. Um, yeah, I'll see what I can do. Just ask my guard for his. Oh. He's still got some dinner. I saw him put it in his coat. Guard's gonna give up his dinner. We'll see what he says about it. I guess is this the guard? Yes. Lucky dog. You great wardens get to ride with the king while I'm left with the drudgery of guarding this deserter. He's a deserter. They should have just hanged him. Put his head on a pike as an example. Yeah, something. A whole bunch of people are gonna die. Why do you want? To Why does anyone want to desert? Because he thinks he's going to die, and he's a bloody coward. That's Fair why. Enough. Either that, or he's been listening to a bunch of hogwash about how the dark spawn will drag you off and eat you. Uh, don't they? <laughs> I talked to him. Don't expect it was an enlightening conversation. No, he just asked for some food water. Did he now? Since nobody sends me nothing to feed him with, the only way we'll get that is if I give him mine. Well, why don't you do that? Do I want to buy it? No, I don't think I want to buy it for him. I don't like him that much. Um, see what's one wheel. I'll, I'll persuade him. See what he... See if he sees reason. All right, all right. Huh. I guess the poor fella could stand to have one meal in his belly before he hangs. Don't know why you care. I had nothing to do with it, though. If anyone asks why he's burping, I'm going to say it was you. Just so you know. Fine. You can tell him that. I will take responsibility. Uh, oh, the 
guard gave me the food. Now you must decide if you will be with the prisoner. And I forgot to read my lines um, so that you can know them, because I know the window sometimes covers up the options. So I'll try to remember to do that. So? You okay. so? brought me some food, have you? I'm so hungry I could faint dead away. Here's some food. Much obliged. You're a kind soul, you are. May Andraste herself rain blessings upon you. Okay. So, that was a very short side quest, <laughs> right? That was the whole thing. He was hungry, he asked for food. I went and persuaded the guard to give up some food, give it to him. The end. Um, maybe this will come back later? Who knows? My maybe belly we'll... thanks you. At least if I'm hanged, I'll have a little weight on me. <laughs> um, so, right, he still could be hanged, right? He's going to be dead. Uh, in the grand scheme of things, what does it matter if he has food or not? Um, but uh, what this does do is reveal a little bit of Janela's character, right? We've just shown her to be a compassionate person who actually cares about other people, even when they're not necessarily on her side, right? This was a deserter, which is basically an enemy soldier. Um, because he's, he's left the military, he's, who knows what he's going to do. I mean, he's not actively fighting against us, but he's definitely uh, you know, signed up to help with, you know, each person missing is us a little bit more. Um, yeah, which is why this whole conscription war thing is terrible, because, you know, frankly, I would think people have it, you know, if he's conscripted and has no choice to be here, he's got every right to desert. Um, you know, people deserve to be free, and they should not be slaves, they should not be conscripts. Um, but anyway, that, that's my own <laughs> rambling, but that's Janela's thought also. So, and I'm projecting that onto her, of course. Um, but so Janella is realizing this person's in a bad situation. She can make a little bit better with just a little bit of work, so she does. And that's where she goes. So even though she's a little on the selfish side, she at least cares enough about other people for that. Okay, so let's go back to our main quests. And, uh, oh, yeah, return to Duncan. Uh, return with return to Duncan with Alistair. That's what I'm doing. Yes? Oh, oh I can converse with Alistair here. Um, yeah, let me... Well, since I can talk to him now, uh, let's see. I, I have a few questions for you. What's about? Uh, the Grey, tell me about the Grey Wardens, since you are one and I'm apparently being conscripted into them. So I imagine. What would you like to know? Uh, what makes you all so special? <laughs> the Grey Wardens are warriors without equal. Darkspawn threatened to destroy the world four times over. Each time, the Grey Wardens led mankind to victory. So you guys fight the Nobody Grey knows more about Darkspawn, and nobody's better equipped to deal with them. You'll see. Trust me. Okay. So your knights, your heroes. Uh, but yeah, and you guys have the wait. I want to ask him a little bit more before I start attacking him. So they're knights, heroes. I don't know if I go that far. <clears throat> Duncan says the Grey Wardens do whatever is necessary to protect mankind. Whatever is necessary. Call. That's that means scary. some pretty extreme things. Whatever it takes to bring victory. Like what kind of extreme things? Um, oh, that's, you can't follow up on that. Like, what, that really begs the question of what does that mean? Um, yeah, which is another good thing when you're writing things like this. Um, if somebody brings up something like that, that absolutely needs to be commented on. Uh, either the other character could say something, and maybe they'll say, I don't want to talk about it. Or the other character says, I don't even want to know, but it definitely needs acknowledgement, um, which here they're not doing. But the game's a little different than, you know, a novel, so I'll, I'll let it slide. Um, I'm going to continue asking some questions here. So the Greater Odins have the right to recruit anybody, like they did me. King Marek, Caelan's father, or not. reaffirmed the power the Grey Wardens were given during the Blights. Hmm. In practice, we can't conscript too often without hurting our cause. We were exiled from Ferelden once. 
best not to let that happen again. So that's some good information, right? They can conscript anyone, but they know that that doesn't really mean they can just do it all the time. Because um, there are practicalities. Uh, they have the right, but if they exercise the right, they will lose the right. If they exercise the right too much, they will lose that right. So they're careful. Um, I was a special case then. <clears throat> Which makes sense, because, you know, conscripting me saved me, but uh, Duncan pointed out earlier that the fact that it saved my life was beside the point. What he wanted was my skills. Uh, where are all the Grey Wardens now? The others are camped with the King's soldiers in the valley. The King's given us a position of honor so at the right Vanguard, right. despite our small numbers. Hmm. I think Kaelin is actually excited to ride into battle with us. Maybe he thinks that's what his father would have done. Yeah, as we know, King Kaelin is enamored of the the romance of the legends of the Grey Wardens. Um, so they're, they're kind of a big deal that, you know, even the new king here is, uh, uh, is enamored of them. Um, okay, I'm not sure I know anything about the Grey Wardens, which I really don't. Well, let's see. Surely you've heard of Weisselp's Fortress? Nope. The Great Airy carved into the White Cliffs far off in the nope. Anderfeld? That's where the Grey Wardens once kept the Griffins. Griffins. The Griffins died out, however, oh. and our numbers have dwindled since the last flight. There's only a handful left in Ferelden. A few more in other nations. Okay, so it's very small numbers of them. Uh, they don't have fortresses or griffins anymore. Oh, griffins would be cool. Maybe the next game. You want to ask me about something else? Uh, yeah. Uh, tell me about this blight. Of course. Uh, how, how did anyone know? Actually, here's a good practical question. Just how many Darkspawn are out there? Thousands. Tens of thousands. They've had centuries to build up their numbers. Tens of thousands, and we've got, what, a dozen Grey Wardens? Um, okay, so how did anyone know, know about this fight? The Grey Wardens keep watch. <coughs> we... Feel the dark spawn right, when they come. Years since the last flight. You'll understand after the joining. If you. S well, if you'll you s understand. What? Not to mention, What's people that? start to notice when dark spawn pour out of the wilds and taint everything around them. Just a guess. Yeah. Uh, fair enough. So, what is the light? Like, where do they come from? You want the Chantry's version or the truth? Oh, whoa. Okay, here we go. So the Chantry has been pretty powerful. Um, I think for him, even uh, suggesting the Chantry's version is not the truth is a pretty big deal. Um, so yeah, I'm going to ask if they aren't the same. Just verify what he's saying here. <laughs> they seldom are. Oh, see now. There's an interesting thing. Okay. Yeah, give me the truth. The truth is we don't really know. Oh. They come up from the ground. <laughs> And that's as far as we've gotten. Well, what is the Chantry's version then? According to the Chant of Light, the Maker imprisoned the old gods underground long ago as punishment for tricking mankind into worshipping them. The old gods still whispered to some men and taught them magic. These men became the Magisters of the Tevinta Empire. The Magisters used their gift to enter the Golden City tainting it and themselves. They were cast out by the Maker and became the first Darkspawn. They fled underground, bringing their taint to their gods. The tainted old gods were the archdemons who rose from their prisons and led the Darkspawn against the world. Yeah, I like the change in his voice uh, when he intones all this. And that's what he's doing. He's not just saying it. He is definitely intoning it. Chanting this. This is a learned thing that he has heard and probably repeated many times. Um, and as he says, the tainted old gods were the arch demons who rose. This is a uh, probably been delivered in sermons uh, in the chantry, which again, chantry is this, this world's analog to uh, the Christianity. It's a monotheistic religion, and it's the most pervasive one there is. Uh, so far, we've heard hints of a couple of others. Um, 
but only hints. So even even the Elven gods, we don't really know much about or the Elven religion. Um, they most of the elves we met in the Alien Edge uh, seem to be worship the Maker as well and the Chantry. So let's see, I'm going to ask uh, more, some more questions about the blight. How about, so what was the first blight? Yes, and it nearly wiped us out. Wait, when what? defeated, the Darkspawn flee back underground and seek out another old god to taint, thus bringing another blight. Sorry, the thing I wanted to say about the intonation is that it shows his scorn for it. The fact he's basically mocking the way it is said. So he adopts this sermon preaching thing, saying this is what they say in the sermons. He's mocking the chantry that way. And it's a smart way of doing it. It's, a, it's good, it's subtle, but it's definitely there. Um, okay. So we're... Okay, so... Uh, did you mention an archdemon? I don't even mention any archdemons. Um, I, I think we're getting some information out of order. So I'm saying, where is the archdemon when he hasn't yet told me that there is an archdemon? Uh, what is an archdemon? The old gods were dragons, so the stories say. Big ones. Intelligent, even. The Tevinta Empire had big statues of them. Each dragon had a name and a place in the cosmos. It's all very intricate. The archdemons may not be the old gods, but they're definitely dragons. Okay, so the archdemons are dragons. Demon for the spider. We haven't seen it yet. Ah. People are beginning to think this is just an unusually large darkspawn raid without an archdemon to unify so them. So may not even be a blight. But seriously, the archdemon could be in the wilds or underground. It could be hiding. Just because hide. it hasn't shown itself doesn't mean it isn't out there. I guess underground is how you do dragon and hide. <clears throat> um, so why are people so skeptical? The Grey Wardens killed so many Darkspawn by the end of the last blight. People decided they were gone for good. Good for us, them. Um, yeah, why not kill the Darkspawn when they're underground? They've controlled the deep roads ever since they defeated the Dwarven Kingdoms. Even if we invaded, we can only chase them so far. So they defeated the Dwarven Kingdoms and controlled the deep roads. Those are interesting things to know. Um, so you'd have to invade the Dwarven Kingdoms to fight them in there. Um, and then you can only go so far right. Supply lines, logistics, going it around, that would be difficult. Okay, uh, let's see, I have other questions about the Blight. Of course. How do Grey Wargans defeat Blights? We chop off the snake's head. It's the only way. Okay. According to texts, the most famous Grey Warden leader, Garahel, killed the Archdemon Underal in personal combat at the Battle of Aesley to end the last flight. Without the Archdemon to command them, the Darkspawn personal flee combat. back underground. Would the Archdemon agree to that? Okay, so once the Archdemon's dead, the Darkspawn flee. And they hang out underground and bother the dwarves. Uh, that's all I wanted to know, I guess. You want to ask me about something else? Yes. Uh, how about Duncan? Tell me about Duncan. Duncan is the leader of the Grey Wardens in Ferelden, which he would say doesn't mean much, as there aren't many of us here. Yet, beyond that, he's a good man, a good judge of character. I owe him a lot. What about you? What do you think of him? Um... I guess I know. I mean, he did save me. Um, for his own ends, though. Um, I mean, yeah, so he's using me, but I guess I'm using him at the same amount, right? I need to get out of the city. He gave me a way out of the city. Uh, he gave me out of the city because he wants me to help him defeat this fight. But, yeah. I mean, I owe him can't say I care for him much, but I do owe him, so yeah. That sounds familiar. <laughs> He's done the best he can with what little he has. 
And that includes me, I guess. What was your crime? You want to ask me about something else? Yeah, what was your crime about this? Oh, I can't do that. Um, yeah, tell me about this joining ritual that we're going to do before the battle. I wish I could tell you more. Maybe ask me again after Duncan speaks to you about it. You want to ask me about something else? Okay. I'll just mention that. Uh, this upcoming battle? The one tomorrow. I'll tell you. It's Tan Loghain we should be looking to win it, not the king. Uh-oh. Kaelin just wants his place in history. But Tan is planning the strategy. Okay. Uh, that's my opinion, anyway. I guess I should be thankful the king favors us Grey Wardens. But I know who's keeping the lid on the pot. <laughs> Okay, so we have a big battle coming up. Taren Loghain's in charge of it, not the king, which is, to me, sounds good, because the king seems a little too enamored of the romanticism of the thing, while Taren Loghain is like, let's win the battle. And King Caelan's like, onward to glory. Um, and frankly, I'd rather win the battle than have the king get a bunch of glory, especially over the bodies of all his dead soldiers like me. <laughs> um... So, how much will I be participating in this battle? Let's, let's ask about my place. You know, that's a good question. The other Grey Wardens are riding into battle with the King. I don't know if you'll be with them. Oh. Uh, what are the chances of success? I'm sure <laughs> Tan Loghain has the battle planned to the last detail. Still, no Blight has ever been defeated with so little cost. So why is it happening here? We're at the edge of the Korkari Wilds, the eye of the Blight Storm, right where the Horde will be coming. Ostagar itself is an excellent defensive position. The Wilders were pushed back from here time and again in ancient days. Okay. Check your metaphors, people. <laughs> um, the eye of the Blight Storm. The eye of a storm is not the edge of it. It is the center. Uh, if this were the eye of the Blight, we would be surrounded on all sides by the Blight. But we're not. Behind us is the kingdoms and beasts and everybody who's preparing for war but isn't happening in front of us, the Kerry Wilds. That's where the Blight is. So we're between, we're at the edge of it, not in the eye of it. Um, if you can use a metaphor, you know what it means. Uh, so what, what happens if we fail? If we don't break the horde here, Duncan says it will spread until it engulfs all of Ferelden. Then it will take an alliance of nations to fight it. Which would be bad. Neither the king nor the Tern really seems to believe this is a real blight, however. An alliance of nations would be bad. Uh, well, needing an alliance of nations would be bad, probably, because these nations were recently at war and they don't like each other. You want other. to ask me about something else? So I imagine, what would you like to know? I think that's everything. Okay, I've asked everything I can about the Great Wardens. You want to ask me about something else? Uh, how about the Blight? Uh, I like the way this game does that, where it takes away the questions you've already asked, so you don't have to... Of course. You just re-ask the same things. Yeah, see? That's all I want you to want to ask too. me about something else? No, I have no more Then let's get a move on, shall we? Yes, let's go. Oh, is this the priest that was uh, officially... Out of my sight, heathen. Yeah. I must perform the Maker's work for those who appreciate it. If you'll excuse me, we are praying. Today, two units of men arrived every hour, and they expect to double that tomorrow. Still, the Tern worries that may not be enough. How do you do? Hail to you. Ah. Oh, they're all really nice about it. Okay. Um... Oh, that's just one of the infirmary is. So... Where I need to go. There you go, Duncan. Duncan's down. Duncan's down. Duncan's fire. Duncan's in. Okay, let's go find Duncan. Yes. Just to the right, down those stairs, and then to the left. So it's just there. Yeah, there's the stairs. Turn the left to the fork of the road. Turn left. Okay. Well met. It, it was funny on the soundtrack. Hey, there's Duncan's fire. Duncan's got a big ass fire there. 
We should see what Duncan wants us to do next, don't you think? Wasn't that guy's name in Game of Thrones, Victoria, Monmouth, or something? Okay. Well, in for a silver, in for a crown, as my dear mum always used to say. Right. Yeah, save the game, because we can do that from time to time. And hi, Duncan. You found Alistair, did you? Good. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. Yeah, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the maids, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. You're right, Duncan. I apologize. Now then, since you're all here, we can begin. You four yeah. will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of darkspawn blood, one for each recruit. So I have one viewer right now. Hi, viewer, whoever you are. Hello. Don't show me. <laughs> Just that somebody is. Okay. Three, vial, three vials of darkspawn blood. Uh, so, what's the second task? There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. Okay. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. Find the archive in three wilds of blood. Oh, what kind of scrolls are these? Why am I asking this? He's telling Alistair who's in charge. Old treaties, if you're curious. Promises of support made to the Grey Wardens long ago. No, they were once considered only formalities. With so many having forgotten their commitments to us, I suspect it may be a good idea to have something to remind them with. Hmm. Alright, and what if they're no, no longer there? It's possible the scrolls may have been destroyed or even stolen, though the seal's magic should have protected them. Only a Grey Warden can break such a seal. I don't understand. Why leave such things in a ruin if they're so valuable? It was assumed that we would someday return. A great many things were assumed that have not held true. So is this part of our dream? No, but the effort must be made. I have every confidence you are up to the task. Hey, I am up to the task. Uh, Alistair, maybe you should be in charge of this. Okay, how will we find this archive? It will be an overgrown ruin by now, <clears throat> but the sealed chest should remain intact. Alistair will guide you to the area you need to search. Find the archive and three vials of blood. Understood. Okay. One archive, three vials of darkspawn blood. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Hopefully the darkspawn Return quickly will and alive. safely. When we take the blood? We will. Then may the Maker watch over your path. I will see you when you return. Duncan has asked Alistair to find a ruined Grey Warden outpost in the wilds. Supposedly, it contains a cache of old and important treaties that need to be worked as a second task. Oh, here's the first task. Duncan has asked Alistair to leave you, Sir Jory, and David in the Kokari Wilds. Find the stray darkspawn and collect three vials of their blood. This blood will be used in the secret of Duncan Richard. And also, I'm looking for a flower that's white with a red center. So, three things I'm looking for in the wilds. Which looks like this way, right? So slightly to my left. There we go. I saw the arrow there it is again. Oh, there's a person here. Oh, this is, this is it's a royal knight. It's a royal knight down here. Welcome to the king's camp, my lady. You all have business in the wilds. The gate's open for you. Just be careful out there. Even a Grey Warden won't be safe in the forest tonight. <clears throat> Alright, I'll be careful. 
I'm not rewarding yet either. Yeah. Oh, wait. So, Alistair was leading us, but somehow I am the one in front. So, and that's good. Um, it's good for your, your main characters in a book or a bike. Um, you have agency over decisions. Um, so, they don't necessarily have to be in charge, but they should be making decisions. Lovely. What's the missionary doing here? He's carrying a letter. New codex. Letter to Jugby. Let's see what he says about that. Oh, a new quest. Okay. <clears throat> My dear son. Yeah, see? Once again, oh, well, I guess I have to read this thing. It seems longer. But it seems important. Landmarks and artist follows. It pleases me that you wish to follow in my footsteps and bring the Maker's Word to the unenlightened. I wish you had chosen a less dangerous place to do so. Apologize for leaving early for the wild, son, but I wanted to set up camp and get things started. The Chasm respect me with respect one with survival skills in the wild, so I hope to get a grip on that before you arrive. <laughs> he wants to learn how to survive in the wild, um, <clears throat> because that way the Chasm or Chasm, uh, Chasm, I'll call him Chasm, will uh, respect you. So I hope to get a grip on that before you arrive. So maybe establish an agreement with the local tribe so that we had friends when you came. Excellent. Uh, except for their missionaries. So they're spreading the word of the maker. Um, you hear that, you primitive heathens? Your religion is wrong. We're going to bring you our religion and colonize you. And also, here's the McDonald's. Um, buy our products. Worship our God. Yes. When you reach the wild, you'll find it difficult to navigate. I've listed several landmarks below. If you follow them, they will lead you to a location I've scouted out where I've left you some supplies. If you're lost, try to get back to that spot and I'll find you. Okay. So here's the spot where the supplies are. Um, landmark those follows. Look for a tree, lean on ruined building, pass under a fallen tree bridge, pass the submerged tower on the right, look between a high ruined arch and a mossy standing stone, walk along the path. So this looks like a path that I should follow at some point. Look for two large statues with a chest between them. There we will find our meeting point. Good luck. And of course he didn't make it. Oh he didn't even send a letter because this is missionary geography. So his son doesn't know any of this. So we should inform him that we meet him. And I've already forgotten which way I was going. Oh I think I'm going this way. Oh, oh. over here. There. Hello. Who oh, is Andrew, that? What you call? Grey Wardens. Well, yes. he's not half as dead as he looks, is he? My scouting band was attacked by Darkspawn. They came out That's of the ground. Up, Please help me. I've got to return to camp.
and back. Okay, um, try it, We can take you back, yeah. If you just bandage me up, I can get back myself. I have bandages okay. in my pack. Excellent. Thank you. Oh, I, I've got to get out of here. Yes, you do. Because it's dangerous here in the wilds. Did you hear? An entire patrol of seasoned men killed by Darkspawn. Calm down, Sir Jory. We'll be fine if we're careful. Those soldiers were careful, and they were still overwhelmed. How many Darkspawn can the four of us slay? A dozen? A hundred? There's an entire army in these forests. There are Darkspawn about, but we're in no danger of walking into the bulk of the Horde. How do you know? I'm not a coward, but this is foolish and reckless. We, we should go back. We're far from all this. We'll be fine. Um, this sounds a little too kiss assy for uh, Janela. Confident is good, you know. Hey, we're all armed people. Most of you have armor on. I just took out an entire regiment of King soldiers earlier today, or a couple days ago. I don't know, last week, whenever that was. How much time has passed? That's that's the thing you should be aware of when you're writing these things. Um. <clears throat> How much time has passed? And maybe, uh, you know, convey it to the readers somehow. Um, I mean, I left that same day, but I don't know how long it took to travel here, and I'm not sure if how long I've been here. I don't think I've been in the camp very long, but I just wandered about, met the king, wandered about a bit, and then met them. So I think it's the same day that I arrived in camp, but I have no idea how long it took to get to the camp. Um... So, yeah, I don't want to be a coward. I don't want to be confrontational with Jory either. I mean, he does sound a little whiny. He sounds more whiny than cowardly, though. But yeah, hey, we'll be fine. I still do not relish the thought of encountering an army. <clears throat> well, then we'll know run. this. All Grey Wardens can sense Darkspawn. Whatever their cunning, I guarantee they won't take us by surprise. That's why I'm here. You see, <laughs> Sir Knight, we might die, but we'll be warned about it first. Excellent. That is reassuring that doesn't mean i'm here to make this easy however so let's get a move on <laughs> all right okay so we weren't in the consent dark so that's good we won't stumble into them unaware they will suddenly pop up out of nowhere Look there, poor slobs. That just seems so excessive. Okay, so the Tarks one did this. Which means they're not just ravening beasts. I mean, we know they're not ravening beasts because they have weapons. They use weapons. They make weapons. So they're they're evil, but they're pure. I wonder if we can reason with them. The people need to fight the entire... Like ourselves. Don't say I'm you. Nicely done. Have some blood on me. Hey, speaking of, 
if anybody else can upgrade their ar weapons or armor. Okay, we have no weapons. Armor, I have a leather helm and some chainmail boots and some blood dragon plate. That requires 42 strength. So let's see if anybody else. Knowledge of strength or knowledge of 42. Um, and more than 16. <laughs> okay, chainmail boots. Uh, are those better than his boots? Nope, they're worse than his boots, okay. Leather helm. He doesn't have a helmet at all. Let's get him a helmet. Okay. I'm a Dameth. Dameth's got smuggler's boots. So his boots are better than the chainmail boots. He's got scale boots, which are also better than chainmail boots, okay. So we don't need any of those. We have nothing there. Nothing else. Okay. Guys, okay. Wait a minute. This is like a tree bridge. Didn't we have something about the tree bridge? Right? That was here? Or not? Or, yes. Okay. Consult a note to letter to me for more information. Something here that says Codex. Yes. Stand on a ruined building, pass under a fallen tree bridge, pass a submerged tower on the right. So, maybe I missed the tree falling on the ruined building. Oh, wait, is that it? I don't see a ruined building, I don't see a tree falling on the Okay, but here's a tree bridge. I don't know if that's the tree bridge. The tree bridge. Pass that and look for something on the right. Tower on the right. Look between a high wound arch and a mossy standing stone. So here's is that a submerged tower? No, it's not. Is that a submerged tower? High wound arch and a mossy standing stone. Uh, let's go look over here. Hey, here's a tree on a ruined building. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Right? There we go. Let's look here. A tree fallen on a ruined building. Pass under a fallen tree bridge and then look for a submerged shower on the right. So let's do this. Okay, pass the tree fallen on a ruined building. Fallen Tree Bridge. Let's see if there's a submerged tower. Oh, look at that. There's a 
submerged tower, am I right? Okay, we came out to the submerged tower on the right. directly, I can't, I don't see any button for that. <laughs> okay. Uh, about the submerged tower on the right, look between a high ruined arch and a mossy standing stone, and then walk along a path of roots and stones. So, let's see, if we pass this on the right, look for a hard, oh, there's a high ruined arch. I see a mossy standing stone. still have to find those documents. I've never heard of a tower that stood for more than 10 years in this forest. Who are you from, Devis? I grew up in a village about a day's trip to the east. Little blot you wouldn't even find on a map. Haven't been back in years. I struck out for the city as soon as I could outrun my pa. I've yeah. been in Denerim for, what, six years now? Never liked it much, but there's more purses there than anywhere else. Yeah. So, you're a cupboard. And a pickpocket, thank you very much. Oh, or was, anyhow. Who'd ever guess I'd end up a Grey Warden? <laughs> yeah. I found them. I cut Duncan's purse while he was standing in a crowd. He grabs my wrist, but I squirm out and bolt. The old bugger can run, but the garrison caught me first. I'm a wanted man in Denerim, you see, so they were going to string me up right there. Oh, oops. I take it Duncan... Duncan, stop them. Invoke the right of conscription. I gave the garrison the finger while I was walking away. Yeah. Don't know why Duncan wants someone like me. But he says finesse is important, and that I'm fast with a blade. <laughs> you bet your boots I am. Besides, it beats getting strung up. <laughs> yeah. That seems to be how a lot of us got to the Great Wardens. All right, for an old bugger. He's faster than he looks, too. All right, let's go. Hey, I'm following you, aren't I? I really meant to click wood on was this genlock here. Venom. Okay, there's some poison. Which oh, I know I didn't use because I took that earlier, remember? Okay, I know how to make it, that's what it is. But I don't have the things I need to make it with. 
Death Root. Death Root. Next track. I have Death Root, but I don't have a flask. Who makes that one? Okay. Um, and I've got a full level up icon, so I think I'll stop and do that real quick. Uh, let's give it a couple more spring. Level of persuasion. <clears throat> uh, stealing. Okay, I don't need to be cut first. We got that for that. Um, I don't even have the stuff for first tier poison, so I don't think I need to bother with that. I'm gonna go with uh, more coercion. This one requires 16 cunning, which I think I have now. So I could eventually get that master coercion. It's always good to have uh, my coercion things so you can convince people of things. Uh, let's see. It's dual striking. In this mode, the character strikes with both weapons simultaneously. Attack does more damage when the character cannot inflict character critical hits or backstabs. I don't think I'm going to take that at all, unless things beyond it are good. Uh, Repulse might be useful. Cripple might be useful. Punisher might be useful. These all require master combat training or expert. Improved master expert. Second road can more easily outmaneuver opponents. Wider flanking arrow, right? That probably helps. It's probably a good thing. Um, swift and unsportsmanlike kick to the target, dealing normal combat damage as well as imposing penalties to defensive movement speed. Now that sounds useful. Um, I'm going to take that. Oh, or I can. Oh, there's this improved tools. A further bonus to. Walk picking or disarming traps, so that might be useful too. So this is good for fighting. This is good for uh, manipulating locks. These are both good for fighting. Um, I think I'll take the final one. I think I'm gonna be doing a lot of fighting first before I try to do locks. So we built. Sounds like a useful thing. And continue. And I'm gonna move these because. But this is a combat maneuver that I invoke, a combat maneuver I invoke, and this is something else that. Oh, this is attacks one person, attacks one person, attacks one person. So, I think those little separate. There we go. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is this way. Hey, get another volume, Fox Ward 1. We recruit a fourth person. One staff, it's a magic staff. That might be useful. Maybe we'll find a mage somewhere. Oh, okay. Hey, there's a bunch of people out here. As you desire. More dark swords, what? Pouch of ashes. A small leather pouch containing ash, ostensibly taken from cremated remains. Ostensibly. How, how would I know that? Um. Myths and legends. The Kakari Rails are rife, rife with legends and myths. I'm not gonna read this whole thing. Um, um, this thing, if you really want to pause and read it, you can. <clears throat> um, you know, after you. If you're watching this later. If you're watching this live, then there is no pausing. Um, but if you're watching this later, either on Twitch or YouTube, uh, you can read it yourself. Uh, the ending is, Marcus, I think this is real. If you take the ashes I gave you and scatter them over a pile of rocks on an overhang overlooking the half-sunken Deventer Dome, maybe Gathreth will appear and give you a wish. If the battle takes you there, I think it's worth a try. Okay, hey, if I find a pile of rocks on an overhang overlooking the half-sunken... Oh, we found the half-sunken Deventer Dome. Oh, dome. Maybe not. Okay. We'll, we'll see. Okay. Oh, right now... So we were following this thing. Um, this one. Past the submerged tower on the right, look between a high ruined arch and a mossy standing stone. Walk along the path of roots and stones, look for two large statues with a chest between them. Okay, so 
I'm going to find a high ruined arch and a mossy standing stone. And so we've got a bunch of high ruined arches everywhere, but I haven't seen any mossy standing stones yet. So we may not have passed it, or it may be something we <coughs> Either we missed it or we're not there yet. Oh, this is back there. Okay, I'm going to look around back this way first. So I don't think we explored everything on this side of the village. There's a big high room. Oh, is this a standing stone? I don't know. That looks like a pretty high arch, though. That's higher than most arches. Oh, wait. What's that? Is that a mossy standing stone? Flower to the kettle master. Okay, I found a pebble. Found a flat flower for his pebble. Some 
one, though. I don't know. I kind of like uh, Davids running up with me and hitting things. Um, because he's so good at stabbing things in the back. and cold damage. Meh. Won't hurt. Probably. Oh. Okay. You got that? Okay. It is 7 o'clock. This looks like a good place to end. Let's see if I can find those landmarks tomorrow or on Sunday. So next up is Sunday, 10.30, 12.30, and this time I will be there because I will not be out of town on the weekend for the convention. So thank you, everybody, for joining me. Um, and I will see you next week. Thank you very much. I'm sorry, not, I mean on Sunday I will see you. Thank you.